was making some nice cash, and there was never a dull moment. I handled things like inventory management, balancing the books, labor negotiations, and uh, janitorial services. Hey, somebody's got to do it. That particular day, for everybody else, it was Thursday. For me, eh, it's the day I got fucked. Alright, Jimmy. Kill all the enemies and get in the car. Damn, I'm good. You took an enemy down. You'll earn points for doing this. Don't forget that you get nothing for killing civilians or cops. Okay. Bingo. Take out several enemies in a row and to get a multiplier bonus. The more enemies you kill consecutively, the higher the multiplayer bonus you get. Yep, that guy. See the bonus timer in the top right hand corner of the screen. The sooner you finish a mission, the more bonus points you'll get. If you run out of time, you'll fail the mission. Okay, Jimmy, let's get in your sweet ride and get out of here. Inform your client that you finished the job. Will do. Jimmy's gonna feel that in the morning. But anyways, I think we lost him. I think it's time to skip on to the boss's house. Did I get the message? Loud and clear. Good. Now don't go disappearing on me, Jimmy. I got another job for you soon. I wonder who that guy was. Check your map to see all available missions. Complete these missions and that the story will progress. Try to achieve the best possible score in each mission. You can kill enemies, destroy cars, or drive at high speeds. The better perform, the better you perform, the better your score will be on the leaderboards. Yeah, I don't care too much about the leaderboards. And isn't this Leo's house? Either way, let's get to our first mission. I wonder who that guy was. Okay, made it. That was just down the street. Jimmy. Tam. Things are getting a little complicated with the Chinese. Some a-hole called Eddie Fu beat the crap out of my cousin Sean and his crew last night. Now you know me, Jimmy. I'm a family man. I'm gonna rip Eddie Fu's balls off and feed them to the rats. But first, I'm going to destroy his crew and burn the whole of Chinatown to the ground. Just get out there and smash some Chinese businesses for now, would you? Okay, shoot up the Chinese businesses. Two Chinese businesses, got it. Alright, let's head out. Some Chinese businesses. Oh. Maybe a 
bullet will have Give to do. Give up now! So far, so good. Good evening. Put it away. Okay, so it takes me a super long time um, to do this. So I'm just gonna skip to the end of the wreckage and leave to the next place here. Yeah, it took a very long time to uh Get ready to, eat to destroy that shot. Heading to the next place. The clothes. Pardon me. Boutique. Apparel shop. Uh, please stand by. What am I supposed to be impressed? We'll ruin a little Put bit of the shop. Away. Get out of here. Go and settle up. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Get to the safe zone. The safe zone. I guess it's just the end of the mission. Oh, yep, yeah, just the end of the mission, it looks like. Do not forget that you can use three apartments in the city at any time you want. Each apartment has a garage where you can store cars. And, okay. And impress myself. Alright, next mission it is. If you need money, accept a car dealer job. Your car dealers sometimes deal in stolen cars, so a talented thief can earn a lot of cash this way. Well, I didn't get crap for the last job, but... Jimmy, just the guy. You don't need to know the details, but I left a Culver Empire parked with explosives somewhere I shouldn't. Wires got crossed, blah blah blah. I need you to go pick up it up for me before well you know kaboom and drive carefully for god's sake you'll take half the city with you if that thing goes off steal the call for empire and deliver it to the garage okay uh it doesn't seem like a blah 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 type of thing to give me the details like that uh steal the call for Bad looking car. Let's unlock the door. Don't want to break it. Break the window, bomb may go off. Drive carefully, the car is full of explosives and could explode. Yeah. And here we are at the garage. Alright. I wonder when like, the story will start. It said once I get done with a few missions, it should start. You are running low on fuel. Let's get some gas with my <laughs> car that only has three tires. Hey, pal. You need to fill up. Fill her up, pal. Sure thing. Did it say, uh, 467 to fill up? I'm just doing this part-time. What I really want to do is that. Because I would really yeah. like that. Like, on radio. Who wouldn't want to be a voice kind of actor? Cool. Come on. Anything else I can yeah, do for you? Have these guys. Thanks. I mean, if you wanted to, you'd probably still do this. Like as like a like a teenager looking for work, guaranteed. Bad Valley. Jimmy boy, it's Sal Gravina. How you doing? Listen, you know Elroy Tussle? He needs... Oh, he heads up a two-bit ga gang called the Bombers or something stupid like that. Those guys stole a bunch of cars last night from Tony over at the docks. Don't give an F about the cars, but I won't have those jerks mess around with me. Find the cars they took and wreck them. Anybody gets in your way, well, too bad. Destroy all the marked cars. Wait, but they're his cars. 
Okay, I mean, it sounds like they're towing these cars, but I know he doesn't have a crap car, but does Tony? I mean, how many cars do you have? Okay, here we are at the docks. Two cars. And a third one somewhere else. So three cars total. And he's like, oh, crap. Oh, and it's an ambush. Okay, let's move along to the third car. Oh, our cops are on me now. In the main game, they didn't do crap no matter what I did. Okay, and this car is heavily guarded as well. I think I can do that, guys. Let's see. It's hard to see the gas. Ooh, there they are. And here I go dying again. Looks like they're preoccupied with the police. Oh, oh cop took that one down. Got some mud oh, job here. Shoot the gun. Okay. Copy that. Do what I gotta do and get out of here. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Come on, car blow up. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. I actually have to shoot the gas tank. Okay. The cop that died saw me, apparently, so. Oh, it's like one in front of me. And the one behind me. There we go. Got Get to the safe zone. That cop survived. Doubtful. Oops. Sorry, brother. Didn't mean to kill you. Suspect is about six feet tall. Okay, here we are at the safe zone. All right. Does that mean that the main quest started? Okay, check my map. I know it did not yet. So maybe it's after this one. Hi, Jimmy. It's Sal here. Me and a couple of boys here have been thinking Elroy Tussle needs his wings clipped. These boomers, bombers, are becoming a real headache. Tussle runs a protection racket in Sands Island. We should question his ability to protect his clients. You know what I mean. Get down there and do a little vandalism. Three stores ought to do it. Shoot up three shops protected by the bombers. These guys are not doing so well. Acts of God is the title of this one. Uh, are not doing so well in these pictures. Looks like it's, it's a lot of drugs and stuff. I mean, Jim is such a I wish they gave you like a little meter or something so that you knew if you busted the store up enough instead of just kind of telling you. Good morning. You see. want a cop to see that thing? Put you picked the wrong uh, place, pal. I guess I'll just shoot uh, the windows out and stuff. All right, we're all done. Let's go to the next one. We're not even in trouble by the cops yet. apparel place. Too bad it wasn't just random like outside shops or something. You just bust the windows and call it good. Feel free to There's look a lot of people in there. It's very popular. Alright. And we're all done. Let's go. The cops caught on to me this one. You can see their their car in the mini map. That other one's a good place though. Oh, 
Everybody in those places is packing. I'm gonna pull out a gun. He's gonna kill me. I got him first. By the way, just so you guys know. Okay, get to the safe zone. First, I'm gonna come back here and collect some ammo that I used up since I'm here. Safe zone. Okay, another car mission. I did get like five grand for that one. Smith Custom Police Theft. You got the balls for a risky job. I need a Smith Custom, a cop car. Don't ask any questions. Just get the car. Steal the Smith custom police and deliver it to the garage. Yeah, easy enough. I'm starting to see a pattern. And to be honest, like, this already has more quests than, like, Grand Theft Auto when it comes to Grand Theft Auto. Alright, just unlocked. But there is a cop right there, and I think we're just gonna try and avoid him. I think if I pick the lock and he saw... Chances are he's not going to bother me if I got in the car. Yep, that's right. Go away. Okay, let's go in before anybody else comes out. I'm assuming I'm like right next to the police station. Oh, it gave me a wanted thing anyways. Alright, here we go. 5640. Yeah, some big money in that. Being a wheelman, I might as well just do that. They don't pay me anything for killing people. Okay, here we are. Next quest. Come on, Jimmy. What do you got? Asian customs. Jimmy, Tam. I've been poking around for information on our friend Eddie Fu. Turns out his brother-in-law is a customs officer down at the port. That must be how they smuggle all their cut price Asian crap into the city. That's the key to the whole Chinese operation. The way I figure it, if you could arrange for this customs guy to have a little accident, that would be grand. You can probably find him driving to work with his two henchmen, who won't be much of a problem for you, I guess. Kill the crooked customs officer. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will do that. Okay, we're gonna grab... I did this mission like four times. Uh, but it, they always give you a different vehicle here. And this one ended up working. I was afraid that it was gonna explode. Uh, but it does not. He just grows bad limbs and stuff. It's a head for shot with a shotgun. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. But when I was in it. Okay, just shoot this guy. And the <laughs> cops are like, hey, we're after you. That guy stopped shooting. Oh. Alright, we're just going to kind of run to the safe zone and hopefully get rid of the cops on the way there. I didn't get rid of the cops, by the way. I mean, they're gone now, but... Okay. 
here we are next quest prohibition jimmy this it's tam brody listen i got 200 crates of hooky beer sitting in my basement that i can't shift for love nor money why because the chinese are flooding the city with cheap drink cheap chink booze uh, i've got bills to pay you got me they store the drink down at the docks find the booze and destroy it destroy eddie foods booze supplies yeah chinks uh, uh not a good word probably you shouldn't have said that but i don't think it's against the rules Okay, here we are at the docks. I wanted to destroy some alcohol. Now that I say it, I kind of don't want to do it. I wish I had some grenades. But my shotgun will have to... Shooting me. Good job, Jimmy. You're a good man. Well, there's two over there. At least two. Okay, and then there's another, and that's it. Okay. There's bad guys around. Not too many. Too much of a bit. Yes. Quest. Like I'm playing a different game. I feel like anything with swords. Um, they call the things that you do quests and anything with guns or like new age things it's like a mission oh it literally says mission dirty daniel jimmy sal grabina i've been hearing that one of tussle's captains has been mouthing off saying that my crew don't got what it takes saying he's going to take me out and all the usual kind of BS. They call this idiot Dirty Daniel. F knows any, F knows why. Anyway, I want you to kill him. Because I don't take crap from a guy that sounds like a sex pest. Yeah, kill Dirty Daniel. But, yeah, because you don't take crap. And you're like, oh, I'm not going to do it. But you can do it. I mean, what kind of a garbage crap is that? Alright, let's make our way to Dirty Daniel. Go. Oh, look at that. Dirty Dan's right around the corner. Alright. It's kind of cool. You know, being a hitman or whatever. Yes, sort of gun fryer. Gun fryer. Well, I mean, he's still what? So that just guy's four fire. He's just a guy. Oh, he's uh, Oh, that was a nice shot right <laughs> through the window of the truck. Like a, I don't know, it's like a hitman, a wheelman, kind of just everything. Alright, Dirty Dan. Let's find him. Suspect is armed. Popo were looking for me, but not for long. Unless they shoot again if they see me. Okay, where are you, Dan? No door. All right. Let's see. He's on the front still. He's on the roof. No, because we just checked. Uh. Okay. This is. He's got to be in here, right? Oh, 
again. Oh, wow. Good. That was stupid. Okay, go to the safe zone. <sighs> that was just the worst. Hey, wake up, man. Oh, hey, police. Uh, I, I'm running away from my apartment. It seems like if I put my guns away, they don't really bother me. I really like the aesthetic of this types of games. I like the posters. Not the posters, but like the billboards and things like that. It's pretty cool. Anyways, on to the next quest. Don't know when the story's going to progress. Unless I'm actually progressing the story. Uh, Houston Wasp Theft. Uh, I got a request for a Houston Wasp. Very specific. Apparently the guy's a collector. I usually don't handle Houston's. They remind me of my ex-wife. Slow, high maintenance, humongous trunk. Get this geek off my back, would you? And steal a wasp for me. Uh, steal the wasp and deliver it to the garage. Get off. Get this geek off my back and steal. Let's see that that line. Yeah. Now it seems like I'm just stealing the car for him. I wonder if that's really how mobsters talk. I doubt it. I don't know if you noticed, but the taxi doesn't look as good anymore as when I got it. Okay, there it is. Yeah, the cars are pretty sweet, too. Um, you know, for like the 50s and stuff. I like it. Alright. Just gonna skip unlocking the door. Boom. Let's drive this baby to the garage. Okay, oh, we're gonna skip there. Here we are. More of a, well, I guess it's a garage. $5,900. And I'm riding around this crummy taxi I stole. Ooh, a four star. Alright, party pooper. Jimmy. How you doing, boyo? This guy's clearly Irish, huh? I have a little something for you. Me cousin Sean, he's definitely Irish, is opening a restaurant. Problem is, the Chinese are running a street carnival on his opening day, giving out free food and all that. It's going to be a disaster for Sean. Do me a favor and wreck their food supplies, would you? I'll make it worth your while. Destroy the carnival supplies. Okay, I will do... Yeah, these guys are the Irish ones. I'm still wondering who that guy was in the beginning. If that's Sal. Okay. Well, we're in Chinatown, looks like. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six of them. Well, let's get to destroying. Doesn't seem like much is going on. Not much of a carnival. Found a box. There's nothing in there. It was a trap. Well, there's no guards for it, so that's kind of nice. I'd at least think some guys or like an employee or something would be around. Instead, it's just that one lonely cop who didn't catch me anyways. They don't seem super far apart, I guess. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that if I knew Chigong, you'd be dead. Got him. Me. Yeah, that hurt. Especially one of these. Oh, I can just run it over. That's cool. Like cars back then were 
actually like super heavy. Not that they're not heavy now, but it's just, you know, they're more plastic than anything. This guy. Okay. So I'll driving these. Alright, mister, stop shooting. I'm gonna take you down. I really... You know, I don't think the drive by is the thing. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. See that shot? Sick. Yeah, a little uh, drive-by action would probably help. Well, that one was easy. Next. Oh, you can see that. Get ready to eat bullets, asshole! Ah, crap, here we go. Yeah, don't, don't want to bring me in the fence. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That guy is fence down with it. Disintegrated it. Well, attempting to break the box with this did not work, but shooting the gun out of my pocket seemed to have. We're almost gone or they're just... I also noticed that the guys don't have to lift their guns to shoot. They just shoot and hit me. To the safe zone. I mean, is the story going to progress? Hi, officer. I'm just running away. Don't worry about me. I also have to get out of my car to do this. It seems like. Uh, yeah, see? 150 bucks and I had to kill a bunch of guys. Okay, next quest. Four stars. Let's see what we got. Golden Fist Tournament. Jimmy, it's Tam. Remember how we used to box up in the hill Oterra? Uh, well, these Chinese uh, hold a fighting tournament every year called the Golden Fist. The main prize is a thousand bucks. And a car. Well, that's cool. Uh, should be a piece of... Uh, okay, crap for a big lad like you, huh? Uh, it would be a real kick in the balls for Eddie Fu as well, which would make me very happy. Okay, win the tournament and humiliate the Chinese guy. I mean, I don't really have anything against the Chinese guy. Just here doing a job. But... I guess we'll do that. Round one. It's a pretty sick looking car. Maybe that's the one we win. The guy I'm fighting isn't Chinese. I guess he didn't have to be. The Chinese guys hold the fight. They don't actually, maybe they don't fight in him. Yeah. I forgot to fight, but I'm back, and I'm Jimmy. Yeah, I punched you through the car. Okay, round two. Oh, round two, bald guy. Oh yeah, he's, he's a Chinese guy for sure. Pretty sick looking. He took off his shirt though, so you know he's serious. My guy fights in a suit with a tie, so he can probably get choked. I don't know. I feel like these fights last as long as they last. The timer up there is like, whatever. It's like I'm gonna pull out a gun and shoot all three guys. Alright, yeah, I got one. Of course I won. 
Ah, this guy's, he's, he's on my level, I better watch out. He also looks like the guy in the video at the beginning, and also the guy in the pictures. Uh, I think his name is Sal. <laughs> He's the one I'm winning the car from. This is for the Irish! Jimmy also fights with sunglasses on, which if he gets punched in the face would probably really hurt. Yes, right, Jimmy. Okay, good. I have big money going for Jimmy, so at least he won. A lot of a lot of money riding on that one. Yep, there it is, a thousand bucks. Please stop. You know, I'm gonna have to give you a fine. You caught me. I'm gonna speed it. Officer, if you had that car, you'd be speeding too. Thank you very much, officer. He's always in the drunk driving. Back in the day, you could pay tickets right there on the spot. Now, I got like a parking ticket a while back, and you have to do everything online, and it's super annoying. Blowing cover. Hi, Jimmy. The bombers are running drugs around the city, and I just won't stand for it. Drugs are bad news, Jim. They make people crazy. Plus, the fact that they are making that a-hole Elroy tussle rich. I'm hearing that his crew uses fruit and vegetable deliveries as cover for moving this muck around destroy all the trucks all their trucks hopefully that will close this business down for good i uh, aren't you in the picture doing drugs i don't understand you look pretty bad to me okay destroy all the delivery trucks and their cargo I will do that. Let's get my sweet car that I stole. Alright, first truck. And of course there's guys. There's three, two guys. Nice one. Come on, Jimmy, be better. Suspect is off. I shot him in the face. I didn't shoot him in the head. The bullet went through his cheek. I mean, and then I shot him in the head, so it's all, it's all good. Alright, second car. <laughs> okay. He just, like, walked into the corner. Okay, that might have been a close. Uh, uh, no. Is that a. Yeah, I guess it was a dud. Let's, uh, back up and try it again. I got it. Got it that time. And the goons don't seem to care. Okay, here we go. We're going to be doing these for a long time. I guess it did say that the these tire ones aren't included in the thing, so maybe it's close. Hank B. Truck Theft. There's a lot of money in haulage, Jimmy. I'm setting up an operation, so I want a rig to get me started like the saying goes. I need me a Hank B. Okay. Oh, look, the song goes. Okay. Um, there's always one sat in the industrial park in North Melville. Pick it up for me, would you? Yeah. 
like the saying goes, the song goes, and I've never heard that song, so. Alright, going to Millville, North Millville. There's the truck. Um, just so you guys know, I skipped it, but I was here for most of the time, riding around, speeding, and doing jumps. But now, we're, we're back to business, because that's all anybody cares about is getting this guy his truck so he can start a business. Okay. Well, this truck's gonna take a while, so I'm skipping into the ground. Oh! Yep. Perfect. Perfect park job. Uh, to the next quest. You guys walking around the rain, getting all wet. That looks close, gotta be super heavy. Rogue Traders. Jimmy, that you? It's Tam, right? I got the names of the guys that beat up on my cousin Sean. They're all Chinese traders, of course they are. I suppose that we crapped in their noodles when we wrecked the carnival. Eh? Anyway. They have to die for what they did to Sean. Take them out for me, Jimmy. They've got it coming. Kill the three vendors. I'm pretty sure that the gas station attendant isn't Chinese either. So I think he's just sending the news to the He does have Chinese guards. The gas station attendant, but people I'm killing are not Chinese. Not that I didn't want to be killing Chinese people. Not what I, you know, not what I'm saying. Super far away, kind of behind the wall. There's a couple more guys, and they have pretty decent shots. Right. We got a homicide here! Suspect is armed! That wasn't a headshot. Oh, Suspect is about 60 tall! Everybody else is shooting. Average size! Almost dying. Nice. Use extreme caution. It's too bad. Use of automatic weapons is authorized. It's <laughs> so bad to say. I respect the police officers. For the most part. I'm not gonna say that they're, you know, super great all the time. Good police officers and actually do the right thing. Uh, most of them are great, even the ones that sometimes push the line a little bit. It's whatever. The yeah, other good. Uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, don't. And this hasn't happened to me, but I've you know been told some stories and I've seen some stuff. Police officer is speeding, and then they pull over for speeding. I mean, that shouldn't be allowed, right? You can't, you can't be hypocrites. I knew a guy who tried to make a, a citizen's arrest, and the cop laughed at him. See if we got this guy. Of course we didn't, because I threw it around. Uh, I think it's always an old guy in here. I've killed him like three times. Might as well collect some ammo while I'm here. 
Yep, there we go. Some shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Uh, the cops are still after me. Get my beat up for your car. Thanks. Suspect is about six feet tall. Average size. Yeah. After getting away from the cops. Tit for tat. Jimmy, it's Tam. Yeah, it's about Eddie Foo. How'd you guess? That little... Uh, sucker. His brother. Uh, has been paying... Uh, the cops to shake down my boys. I just had to spend a few hours in the cells myself. I can't just let this go. Now can I find Foo's brother and kill him? Okay. Uh... I feel like I'm working for a lot of low time guys, not like the mob boss. I guess I am just a hitman, it's not like I'm I might not even be made or anything. Down the block again. Some of these are nice and close. Let's see. I'll take care of this. Boom. I took care of a couple. Five, five guys. Sweet. Use of automatic weapons is authorized. Bingo. Okay, Jimmy. Let's do this. Let's finish up and get out of here. Good. <laughs> the in the matrix. He hid behind that tree. These guys are just Yeah, more points. They're still protecting their buddy. Yep, he threw that up. guy's dead. Come on, that was a shot. Okay, there we go. Two bonus points for killing the boss. I am number one on the leaderboards. I just don't show you the leaderboards, but you'll just have to trust me. Tester series 6 9. Yeah. Alright, another wheelman job. <laughs> Lancaster series 7 5 Hollywood theft. Lancaster series 7 5 Hollywood. It's the car that every aspiring businessman wants to be seen in. Jesus, every day I got a couple of morons on the phone wanting that car and ready to pay good money. To look good in front of the boss. Pick me up a 75 in good working condition. Please. Steal the Lancaster Series 7. 5 Hollywood and deliver it to the garage. Why does it have to be a specific one? Couldn't I just steal a different one? Well, they don't settle for the 6.9. Has to be the 7.5. So that's the, the newer edition. Let's see what it looks like. It's like a station wagon, and that dumpster collapsed. Pretty sure that they're not supposed to do that. Actually, it's not bad. Back seats are facing the, in, the other seats or whatever. 
At least like with a head-on wreck in these, those second passengers are probably, they're doing okay. All right, next quest. We don't use roads too much. Crossing the sticks. Hey, Jimmy, it's Sal. I'm hearing that Elroy is pee, uh, peed about the drugs, the drug hits. Haha, uh, music to my ears. There's a problem, though. I got word that Tussle employed a headhunter to take care of me. They call this punk Sharon because he places coins on the lips of his victims. Ooh, I'm crapping myself here. Go take care of this amateur, would you? Well, these are pretty short quests. I mean, you know, those quests that go, do this, come back. Those kind of quests. See what I mean? Pretty quick. I should probably collect these guys' guns. Oh, there's some guys. Cops are Usually the cops are always on me. Alright, another wheelman quest. The Schubert Frigate Theft. I got a sweet job for you, Jimmy. I need a Schubert Frigate for a friend of mine who's just come into some money. I can fix it up, but I'd rather not. The better the condition you deliver the car in, the more money you get for the deal. Yeah, grab a Schubert and go to the garage. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much all the same. Alright, here we go. Almost there. In my sick ride that I stole. I don't see one of those fences coming off that easy. But I guess it's a car, whatever. But they're really heavy and they're stuck in the concrete. Wow, brick, but it's still. Oh, dude. go. Don't mess with Jimmy. He knows all about them headshots. Okay, that wasn't a headshot. Let's go, Jimmy. Get in there. You weren't in the military like that, though. That guy's dead. I need you to, to get in there. Maybe we had this car before. I stole it on a different... Just not on this job. sucks not being able to listen to the radio, you know, unless I'm playing without recording. Because I like the music of this time as well. When I play other games, it's going to blow. Jimmy, it's Tam. Things are bad, Jimmy. First, I'm effing crap-faced. Second... I'm getting some real trouble now from the Chinese. They threatened me. Me ma. Jimmy. Me effin ma. I want you to send them a message. These, those idiots like fireworks, right? Well, we'll give them fireworks. I got you a car full of explosives. Use it to blow something up in the center of Chinatown. That'll make them choke on their bean curd you know it <laughs> it says now won't it okay pick up the rigged car with the explosives got it
You're gonna skip to that. Pretty sweet ride. These guys, um, I'm assuming this is more expensive car here too. The ISW 508, I don't know, maybe, but they use a lot of expensive cars. Okay, stop the car near the Triad limousine in front of before we explode. The very car is very sensitive, damage was sucked off, so be careful. We made it without any scratches. Okay, uh, avoid any suspicious behavior, otherwise you'll be spotted. I mean, this is pretty suspicious, especially since I drove up and they're right there. Nine seconds, it's already armed. Okay, nobody seems to care though that I've parked and ran off. Sick. Oh gosh, get down, Jimmy! Come on, cops, do your jobs. Come on, Jimmy, we gotta make it out of this one. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna ha Oh, it's right there across the street. Run for it, Jimmy. We got it. It's a three star. Rat catcher. Jimmy, Sal. Apparently a couple of bomber punks lied in court and sent Tony Scalone down for ten for a ten stretch. This is effing low, Jimmy. I can hardly believe it. Me and Elroy might have our differences, but this is plain wrong. I just know Elroy will be behind this. He must have paid those lying Fs big to put their tiny balls on the line. Kill them. Okay, kill the two bribed witnesses. my boy and he saw me <laughs> come on cops help me out here back me up I'm, I'm innocent okay they left that guy's dead Damn, I'm good noise Yep, got him. Killed his hand. Got him good. Scared already, huh? Take this. Here's what we all show your skinny scared ass. Well, hopefully the cops are doing something. Oof. Well, it looks like I'll have to do this. Jimmy's a good shot. Okay, come on, guys. Poke your heads out. Oh, okay. He shot the cop. So, I guess it's all up to me. Who are they shooting at? Cop on me there. I didn't see him on the top balcony. Chase. What kind of store that is? Yeah, perhaps credit cards. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill 
every one of you motherfuckers! Uh, I'm pretty sure that was headshot. Kinda ran away from me there. Going to our next location. Second witness is oh, up there. I see. Jimmy's like, ah, oh, crap. These two witnesses are guarded like heavily. But Jimmy's got the stones. He's got the stones for it. Say good night. Bingo. Kind of ran away there. Kind of panicked. Didn't do much with the cop there. Okay. Hopefully he's got that under control. And he doesn't. The guy was faced the other way. According to the mini-map. Okay, maybe these... I had a weapon out. So they're like, oh, that, that guy. Maybe I have a permit to carry. And, and you know, I just happened to walk into this. Okay, probably not with that, but. Like a small concealed pistol, maybe. I say that a lot. It's their thing. I felt like maybe that guy was going to come after me later after I did the deed. Strong fence. Yep. Got that guy's him. Dead. Oh no, wrong. Wrong got him. Maybe this will get him. Boom. That guy. We got a homicide here. Oh, a cop. Suspect is armed. And I'm gonna die. Ugh. Holy cow. Alright, another car mission. Let's see what we got. Smith Thunderbolt Theft. Crap, I told a guy I would get him a Smith Thunderbolt and I forgot. He's coming over today and, well, let's just say I can't afford to get on his bad side. I don't have time to repair it, Jimmy, so try get it here in good condition. I'll make it worth your while. No, I won't forget to pay up, I promise. I know, I know, I can't afford to get on your bad side either, Jimmy. Just get the car, please. So we're going to get the car, we're going to deliver it to the garage, like normal. So that. Sometimes it's nicely I sitting here, away from myself. everybody. Like, who parks their... who is here parked with their car here? Get in there. Don't want to damage the window. We'll bring her back to the garage. I uh, 
modified my vehicle a little bit. Asian assassin assassination. Jimmy. Jimmy, it's me, Tam. Eddie Fu found out what we did to his brother. The cheeky effer just called, told me he's sending two Chinese assassins to F and kill me. Would you credit the nerve on that one? I don't know any of this Ching Chong Kung Fu crap, Jim. I need you to take these pesky little effers out for me. Would you do that? Kill the two Chinese assassins. Okay, I can do that for you, Tam. My sweet ride that I crashed already once. Okay, they uh, appear to be in this very nice house. How did I know where these guys were at, anyways? We just have the information on these assassins. They're gonna be in Beverly Hills. Come out. Say good night. I'm pretty sure that was a headshot, but. I thought I saw a police car over there. I see a police officer down on the map. Okay, he's coming a little closer. I don't think we have to worry about him. Seems to be at the next door house. Maybe it was a domestic. Yeah, you are, Jimmy. Nice one. Yep, that guy's dead. Oh, uh -huh. the assassin did not kill me. Come on, dude. Okay, poke your head out. Yep. There we go. Not the kill I would have liked, but... It's all fine. Couple of civilians up there. <laughs> I mean, I was poking my gun through the wall, but I think he saw it. For all these Chinese guys... Run, Jimmy! Get out of there! Oh, there's guys outside, too. Murder him, Jimmy. No. Not with that one. Okay, that one. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure I was going down on that one. Time to get up close and personal, Jimmy. Or not, we can still shoot him far away if he pokes his head out. We got a homicide here! Suspect is on! Ugh. I guess I should have been watching for that. I don't know who that was. Could have been a cop. 
Probably just some random civilian I just murdered. <clears throat> I don't get points for that. Guys are like little monkeys jumping around everywhere. Bunch of little little uh, ninjas. Don't assassins usually kind of travel light and alone? I mean, maybe with one other guy, but why, you know, not this many. Pretty sure this mission should have been way easier than it is. Chicken shit. Come out and fight like man. <laughs> nice, nice jump, cop. Get him, boys. The boys in blue are not doing so well on this game. Of course, when you're up against automatic machine guns, sometimes that'll happen. This is a nice house. This is a nice neighborhood. Over here. Right on the cliff. I thought that was money. Like from... <laughs> from Grand Theft Auto. It's just spinning on the floor. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Okay, I won't. Adios, asshole. Shot you through the wall, sucker. Bet you didn't think I could do that. Okay, my superpower is sometimes shooting people through the wall. Their superpower is shooting through themselves. When they're turned around, they can shoot you. When their gun isn't even out, they can shoot you. So they're pretty... I think that they have the advantage most of the time. What a shot. I mean, that's got to be... That's got to be pretty far for a shotgun, you know. Oof. Abdomen shot. Shouldn't have bought a convertible. That lady's superpower is defying physics. We made it back. Oh, wheel job. Schubert Armored Van Theft. Jimmy, just the man. Listen, I need a Schubert Armored Van. A couple of friends of mine have a big heist planned and they need a bulletproof getaway vehicle. There's a security firm that does daily runs through the city. Your only chance will be when the driver stops near the bank. You in? And uh, Yeah, of course I'm in. And of course we're going to deliver to the garage. I think they'd be on the lookout or something after this. Like, they know what's going on. Sure. Oh, I'm not driving. 
<laughs> yeah, I forgot this isn't Grand Theft Auto. He doesn't push the driver out. Yeah, hold on. Let me go around. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna die. And if I borrow your car, thanks. Oh, I'm gonna come back down. Pull a shotgun on me. I saw that. Okay, let's go, Jimmy. You're sort of healed. Let's get our armor fan out of here. They didn't leave me my car this time. So I had to steal one and, well, you see how that turns out. Freedom of speech. Jimmy, Tam, Brody. Do you read the papers at all? I've been having a good old laugh today. Eddie Fu is all over the news. Someone from his organization is ratting him out, selling him... And the whole Chinese gang down the river. There is just one problem. Little Eddie's put a big price on the rat's head. You gotta protect him so he can testify. Protect the rat against the Chinese uh, attack. Okay, I will do it. Okay, so just to give you a little warning, I had to do this one a couple of times, um, and what I ended up doing was blocking the three entrances that the guys could come out. That's this one here, just enough so that they can't get through, and then I did the uh, far one, and then the closer one. They give you enough cars to do it, maybe for the exact purpose. I don't know. But that's what I did. Because um, I did it before, and they'd run right at you, and there's a lot of them. There's like waves and stuff. But the mission doesn't start until you talk to this guy, so you just bump him out of the way and let her happen. But the cops do come by uh, quite frequently, so they either can get in the way or and or help. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, they're around all the time. But to be honest, the cars make it so that the guys can't get too close. Uh, but it does kind of mess with them a little bit. So you have to pop your head out every now and then and make sure that they see you and shoot at you or the cops don't do anything about it. Dude, you're gonna get shot. Get down. Anyways, so we're gonna fast forward this a little bit. And as you can see, I've done exemplary. It, it's a lot of waiting around if you do it this way, but uh, I had to do it several times uh, before this really worked for me. And then uh, I think these are the last couple of guys, and then we're out.
Like I said, some of the guys, it's, it kind of messes with them, like their pathing or something. So those guys that just sit behind the building, you have to literally go out there, kill them and come back. But they won't go through that car. Um, but with that, it's all done. Took a little bit longer than I thought it did, but um, either way. Let me go straight to the old house symbol thingy. And on to the next mission. Fix the fixers. Jimmy, it's Tam. Our oriental problem just got a whole lot worse. The Chinese bosses have sent over three new captains from Hong Kong to fix the problems they've been having lately. As if Eddie Fu wasn't bad enough. We need to move fast before the efforts get settled in. There's a big meetup happening in Millville with a bit of luck... If we kill them now, these Chinese will give up on this city. Kill the three Chinese captains. Okay. Oh, okay, look at that. They're right next door and shooting at me already. Okay. To be honest, I think we're going to fast forward through a lot of this as well. But there's like one guy here. There's one guy in kind of the middle of the compound up there on the ground. And there's another guy, uh, I believe, up on a balcony again. Uh, the two guys on the balcony are definitely harder uh, than the one on the ground, but they're still pretty equally guarded, so it's a pretty hard mission to do. Uh, I think I only did it once, but... I don't know. Yeah, there's like a lot of guys um, to deal with around here, uh, and I almost died several, several times. It's like pretty much non-stop. And then I kept running kind of low on ammo and stuff like that, so that'll be a lesson to me to get more. Either way, once we're all done, we can go back to this guy, because I didn't kill him. I just kind of thinned him out. But, I have to go all the way up to kill him now. And again, I'm almost dead. So, I'm going to sit here. If nobody's shooting me, I can heal a little bit. And then do a Medal of Honor run. Back to where I'm supposed to go. The little safe zone deal. Come on, run, Jimmy. Run! It's for the Medal of Honor, man. Okay, maybe we didn't run, but still, Medal of Honor. Alright, another car theft. Let's view the mission, please. Okay. ISW 508 theft. Jimmy, I need a word man to man. You remember you bar. You Borrowed me that thousand? Well, business hasn't been too good recently. I need another few weeks to pay. But, hear me out. I hear... Uh, hear me out just for a minute, Jimmy. I know where you can find a sweet uh, ISW 508. That should do for interest, right? That's one of the nicest cars on the road. You steal it, and it's all yours. Sound good? No, it doesn't sound good. You owe me the money. You go steal the car. So I borrowed you money, uh, and you're going to make me do work for you to pay it back? I mean, that's like, that's against all of my, 
moral rules. Look, if I borrow you money, you should be the one to bring it back to me. I'm not going to go borrow your car and then have you come and pick it up. Uh, you know, unless there's some circumstance that makes it so that you have Turn to. Lock I don't that door, you know. Buddy. Possible Grand Theft Auto. Copy that. To be honest, it happens way Vehicle too much in, 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 in pursuit of some real life that that kind of crap goes on. You know, oh, borrow me ten bucks. Okay. Oh, I don't have it, but you know, I got this twenty dollar item you that you see me carrying around. It's brand new, but I couldn't get you back your ten. Hey, what's going on here? Or, Breaking you know, I don't know, whatever. Right it's, there. Stop. it's just garbage. <laughs> it's a rest of the is on six feet tall. I'm not Average dealing size. with it this time. Let's go. Okay, they're just going to let me go, I guess. Getting to the place we're supposed to be. They didn't find that suspicious, the guys in the gate. Um, oh, you know what? I had to do this one a bunch, too. And I figured out that the best course of action is to run in, make some chaos, steal the car, and leave. Mostly with the cops. Oh, a little bit. I'm, I almost died, so... That was it. 1,380. I guess he owed me a thousand bucks, but... For the convenience of you not paying me back, I think it should be more. Bang, bang, chicken. Jimmy, it's Tam. Listen, boy. Call me boy. Uh, this is important. I just had a sit-down with Sal Gravina. And we reckon it's high time to do away with the Chinese before they cause a war that Eddie Fu is hiding out in a restaurant in Chinatown. We was thinking you could get down there and wipe him and his crew out for good. There's a pretty penny in it for you if you're up to it, of course. What do you say? Well, you know, shooting up Chinese restaurants, are, that's my specialty. Happens to be the Chinese restaurant, the only Chinese restaurant in the game that Vito and Joe went shot at. Oh god, right away, huh? Craw out already, you rat! I feel like it would be dinner time in the game. I don't see why there's no customers. Probably just so they're not in the way. Say good night. Maybe it's just a front. There's zero nice customers one. at all. There's not even a not even like a like a facade. Empty restaurant. Korea. Say good night. You ever see those videos? Those North Korean people go and visit North Korea and there's nobody inside the restaurant, like those waiting areas and stuff. And then, uh, you know, they, it's like they, they pretend. I don't know if that's everywhere, or if it's just, if it's even a thing, you know. Yeah, videos are kind of hard, you know. People, people want you to watch their videos, and sometimes they fake stuff, and it's it's hard to trust the internet. You know, you gotta have credible sources and, and everything. 
I, for one, do not trust the internet uh, that much, which is probably fine. Uh, pretty much just go on there to look up stuff about how to fix cars and whatnot. Alright, I uh, got lost here, so give me a minute. I was pretty convinced that you had to come out the window. We didn't. But, yeah. Yep, that guy's dead. Oh gosh, right behind me. Damn, I'm good. Yeah. You got this, Jimmy. Adios, asshole. I didn't think that was a headshot. The game did. Maybe the bullet went astray. Ow, oh, dude. I mean, I poked my head out. He probably shot me in the arm. See what I mean? Those guys can shoot the ground and it hurts me. Not cool. I don't know when it was before, but somebody shot me and they didn't even have a gun out. that door was bulletproof. Nice one. Ah. I can't shoot from the bottom of the fence. Only the top. Poke it out. Bingo. Come on, that was... I guess it was like shoulder, chest shots or something. I don't know. I like how they have like a little apartments or something here. Any of these other doors open? Can I rob somebody? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go. Cool, nobody's here. Oh, yep, there they are, right there, I knew it. Okay, come on, don't die. Come on, dude. Good night. Okay, I think that is it. Sorry, Buddha. After this place was cleared, I'd be like, uh, guys, there's a big hunk of gold in that Chinese restaurant you might want to go and take a look at. Of course, the cops would probably be here first, wondering why there's a giant bunker. Take cover, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, a hole. Oh. Oh. I didn't like being shot, but him shooting me gave away his position, so I guess it's okay. Crumbled into pieces. The rats here are a little bit different. They're just made of small pieces that probably put themselves back together.
<laughs> get in a little target practice while we can. It's like at this point I was bored of not hearing any voices besides these little catchphrases he's got. It's like, I don't know, they didn't seem to do like a ton of work. And the story doesn't seem to relate at all to uh, like Vito or, or Joe or anything. It's just some hired hand. Uh, I don't know if Jimmy is going to make a an appearance in Mafia 3. Guess we'll find that out when I play it. I think that, that Jimmy's a cool character, I just don't... I don't... I don't know, this... This whole add-on is, is just kinda whatever to me. Like, there's literally two... Uh, you know, his 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 main story or whatever is just well, I'm a hitman and I'm gonna get screwed over and we know that because of the first part I maybe it's maybe it's this mission that he gets screwed over Yeah, it would suck. What was that guy even doing? Yeah, I'm not surprised you guys uh, saw me. Alright. see what you have in your office. Nothing. This is where the other Chinese boss guy got his head blown off by Joe. Alright, now we gotta make our way out and to the little thing. The little house. There's that rat that put himself back together. Okay, going up the elevator. Okay. okay. Not going up the elevator. Uh, I got lost there, and so I cut that out because it was just me running around. If you didn't know, there's a room right here, and it's got a bunch of guns and ammo and stuff uh, for resupply. Uh, I didn't find that until after, but we'll go up to the stairs and we're out. So, with a couple of grenades, Molotovs. Should help us for a future mission, hopefully. But before we get to the next one, who's there? It's Jimmy. Okay, come in. We'll get uh, a bunch of good weapons from the Army Navy store. You remember our guy here who doesn't have too I much character development besides just selling these. Here you go. Don't hurt yourself. He did. Like I mean, my mom always said, you said he was in the army or whatever, too but much ammo. I don't. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Yeah, thank you. An excellent weapon. Like my mom always said, he said, said that you three times. It's like I'm deaf. But uh, yeah, he. I never leave. You know, he told us a story or whatever. But that's the thing about the main I'll game. Is it's not like you're one thing, interacting with these guys a lot. Basically, fine, you're so interacting shit. with Joe, some of the mob guys, and that's about it. Uh, so coming back down to this guy, I didn't. Like you, you just kind of skip that stuff. You skip doing things like this, eating in the food places and going to the bar. There's no real point to doing it in the main game. Come in, young man. Come, come. Yeah, thanks. Eat, Me a eat. Euro. You are too skinny. Um, coming right up. But I noticed that in this, I actually used the shops and stuff a, a little Here bit you go. more. Enjoy. Eat, eat. Uh, than in the main game. Which is kind of cool, I guess. It's this fella's famous sandwich. Just to you use enjoy. them. More food coffee. for you. I need to get amped for the next mission. Speaking of the next mission, let's get to it. 
Uh, brother and keeper, Jimmy, it's Sal. I just had a little meeting with a, your friend Tam Brody. Tom Brady? I wonder if, uh, coincidence. Anyways, um, we're both in agreement that there has been too much chaos recently, too much violence. We're both getting a lot of heat from the law, so we need to finish the bombers. Kill Elroy Tussle. He's holed up at the old distillery in Sand Island with his half-wit brother Duke. Take them both out. Kill Elroy Tussle and his brother. Okay, will do. Take my crappy car and my sweet, sweet suit. We're gonna get down to the distillery. Maybe very during Jimmy's vengeance, uh, we'll go to the bar once and see if there's anything going on there. Hold on while I reload all my weapons. Oh, and I have a lot, a lot of them to do. But I have a feeling there's a lot of guys inside. Kind of end DLC content here. Yep, that guy's dead. Come on, Jimmy, you got this. Damn, I'm good. Say good night. Freaking real good, Jimmy. You're doing great. Got shot, but that's okay. We're still John Wick in over here. I'm good. I gotta be careful not to hit any of the alcohol. Humphrey whiskey. I knew a guy named Humphrey. He's a that weird guy. dead. Come on, everybody, uh, uh, even an amateur knows to look up the stairs. Clearing you know, a bullseye. I'm sure you gotta kind of stun a little bit. I'm sure you're not gonna fall, but. Yeah, that guy's dead. Come on, poke out. Poke out your head. Yep, oh, you tricked that me. guy's dead. But a times nine multiplayer deal. 16,000 points of that. Good. I panicked. Shot twice. A lot of work for two guys. You know, open, you're gonna come down. No. Okay. Let's find out. Oh, there's some stairs right there. Of course, I could have just gone up the stairs. I guess they'd have been behind me though. Go. If I were these guys, I would have gone downstairs after a minute. And that way we could, you know. Surround and conquer, or whatever. Say good night. But nobody said NPCs were smart. There's like a hallway back here. Oh, I broke the alcohol by walking on it. Up oh, door. Okay, got it. Let's do this. Adios, asshole. That was probably definitely not a headshot. But I'll take it. Say good night. You're handing him out. Yep, that guy's dead. It's going very well. Oh, that would suck. Nice. 
I got him. Sometimes I notice that the game doesn't give you the shots that you've taken, even though the reticle was red and you're like, yeah, I clearly got him. Okay, staircase. Staircase, got it. It's kind of dark. And number two. You can't get like bulletproof vests in this one either. But I don't know. Maybe you can't. No, I don't think I've ever gotten one. But maybe you can and I just haven't. I'm just an idiot. I should have been counting. Yep. Okay, got him. See, see what I mean there? He turned around and shot me. Okay, I gotta heal a little bit. Their guy up the stairs like there normally is. Hmm. How about this, boys? I got one. That's not good, Okay, I must have got somebody. Oh, that guy in the stairs, maybe. Uh, where's my shotgun? There we go. I figured it's close quarters, but... I guess not that close. Okay. Awesome. Shall we get back down? What do we got here? Yeah, I can't read it. Scribbles. Like the formula, formula for their whiskey or something. The other. Didn't this place burn down when Vito was in it? Pretty sure this building is not standing anymore. That is one cool thing about like Grand Theft Auto. They when they like burn down a building, it's just not there anymore. Um, another game that had like destructive environments. What's this? Uh, oh yeah, it's that room. Uh, I was kind of hoping it'd be another resupply room or whatever, but. Um, was uh, Mercenaries 2. Uh, I never played the first one, but Mercenaries 2 was pretty awesome. I liked it a lot. You could just destroy literally everything. I'm going to try and get it again and, and play it here. A rich reward. Jimmy, Sal, I just spoke to Tam Brody. He told me you dealt with Eddie Fu. You did a good thing there. Jimmy, uh, a really good thing. S stopped, uh, stopped a war. You need to get paid, though. Yeah, I do. We'll do the handover in Riverside, near the railway bridge. Uh, one of my boys is driving there now. He's in a bright red car, a sporty little number. The cash is in the trunk. You can keep the car as well. Thanks again, Jimmy. Come over for dinner sometime. Maria would love to see you. Take the car in Riverside. I mean, okay, I will. That picture 
with the guy in the back there looked a little, a little ominous. I'm assuming that this has to be over soon. It's never just a simple get made job, right? That's not a mission on a game. On a mafia game. Okay. Can I check the trunk? I cannot. But we can unlock the door to keep our nice red car. Oh, shit, like a fucking amateur. Yeah, you are. Like an amateur. immediately or we will open fire that's what I got for getting comfortable I was so busy tying up loose ends for my employers I didn't realize the only one left was me assholes set me up good the dope in the trunk got me 15 years guess they couldn't find anybody with the balls to try to do me in dumb bastards they got no idea What's coming? Well, thanks for watching that. If you actually ended up making it this far or used the video at all, that'd be something. Uh, but uh, yeah, leave a comment if you would, and a like or dislike, whatever you feel like. If it helped, if you know, whatever I can do better, just tell me. Tell me what you liked didn't like did i say that i i think i already said that anyways uh yeah again if you did make it this far i really do appreciate it uh thanks for watching next it'll have to be jimmy's vendetta uh that we end up going through and then uh and then it's joe's story that should be pretty cool and uh that will complete the whole of mafia 2 uh which i will kind of be thankful for but again thank you so much for watching and i do appreciate your time or whatever stick around for jimmy's vendetta